How did you map the topology of the tree of knowledge and tree of life? Firstly, according to the myth regarding Adam and Eve in Eden, Genesis 3 of the Torah, they ate the forbidden fruit from the tree of knowledge and thus were exiled from Eden and a flaming sword was placed between mankind and the tree of life. So today the tree of life diagram of Hakabalah is a depiction of what we consider our substitute for that which we had in Eden, that was, as promised by God in Genesis 2.16, the tree of life that gave Adam and Eve immortality. This modern substitute for the tree of life in paradise is itself the tree of knowledge. Now, because like the herb of the field, Genesis 3.18, that we are condemned to eat instead of the fruits of immortality. Now become like, just as the tree of knowledge in Eden became the modern tree of life diagram of Hakabalah, the tree of life in Eden became a tree of death for humanity in exile. To study these trees in, as they would have appeared in Eden, we must examine both the modern tree of life diagram of Hakabalah, but also the modern tree of death diagram of the Cliffoth. In examining the modern tree of life diagram of Hakabalah, there are no short supply of models available. The most modern tree of life diagrams of Hakabalah display the slippage of the middle pillar from the earliest format for its design, which was based on a double cube model. In this earlier model, called the Gra in the Sefer Yetzirah edition by Arya Kaplan, the 12 signs of the zodiac can correspond to the horizontal legs and the seven classical planets of antiquity to the vertical legs. So it is this Gra model for the tree of life diagram of modern Kabbalah, we can associate with the tree of knowledge in Eden. The only or most unique, now known to me at least, model for a modern tree of death comes from the double diamond design given by Steve Savidow. This design would then symbolize the original tree of life in Eden. Given the layout of the Garden of Eden, as described in Genesis 2.9, we may postulate the forbidden tree of knowledge was the tallest tree, centralmost in the orchard, surrounded by shorter trees that bore the fruit of immortality. Thus, we may further speculate the tree of knowledge may be the shape that the tree of life would eventually grow into. In short, the double diamond design of the modern tree of death may symbolize a pair of tetrahedrons, just as the double cube design for the modern tree of life symbolizes a pair of cubes, or to be more succinct, a single cube over time, a tesseract or fourth spatial dimensional hypercube. So the double tetrahedron may symbolize the conjoined format of these shapes as a stellated octahedron shape, being a sapling grown from the seed of a single tetrahedron, with the double cube model of the tree of knowledge bearing the forbidden fruit, being this shape's next phase of evolution following the intermediary phase of bearing the fruit of immortal life. Then, by combining the double diamond diagram of the tree of death, actually the tree of life in Eden, and the double cube diagram of the tree of life, actually the tree of knowledge in Eden, we may arrive at the design I call the Jacob's Ladder that, speculatively, may represent the next phase in growth of this symbolical tree model. <clears throat> 